NASA's research efforts are pushing the boundaries of science and aiming to accomplish what was once considered impossible, faster than light travel. The space agency has been exploring unconventional means of breaking the speed of light barrier. The idea of leaving our beloved planet Earth and venturing into the vast expanse of space has long fascinated humanity. Join us as we dive deeper into the latest discovery in this field made by NASA and explore the future of space travel. First, let us establish the definition of light speed. It's the speed at which light travels in a vacuum. It's insanely fast, at around 671 million miles per hour. It's the fastest speed anything can travel at and is an important constant in nature. Scientists believe that only particles without any mass, such as light, radio, and gamma rays, can move at this speed since they aren't affected by interference in space. Particles with mass, such as atoms and electrons, can never reach the speed of light, no matter how much they are accelerated. In physics, scientists often use light speed as a way to measure how fast objects travel through space. However, according to the theory of relativity, as an object gets closer to the speed of light, it becomes heavier and would need an infinite amount of energy to reach light speed. Because of this, objects with mass can never reach light speed. The fastest spacecraft humans have made is the Parker Solar Probe, which launched in 2018 and can only reach a small fraction of light speed at 430,000 miles per hour. In an effort to develop advanced propulsion technologies for space travel, including those that could potentially allow for faster-than-light travel, NASA established the Advanced Propulsion Physics Laboratory, also known as the Eagle Works Laboratories, at the Johnson Space Center. The lab led by Dr. Harold White conducts research on various topics, from the behavior of matter and energy in extreme environments to the testing of advanced propulsion systems and the development of new technologies for space exploration. The team also explores theories of physics, such as the possibility of wormholes or other shortcuts through space-time. At first, the estimate for the amount of energy required for faster-than-light travel was astronomical, but over time, scientists have reduced this estimate to a more feasible amount. Dr. White's proposal was to design a warp that could reach the star Alpha Centauri within a few weeks at a cost similar to that of a car. He presented this idea to NASA and was granted a space at the Johnson Space Center to establish the Eagle Works Laboratories. Dr. White proposed a concept art of a ship called the IXS Enterprise, which uses a modified version of the Alcubierre Drive, which requires exotic matter to travel faster than light. Based on computations, the energy required to power the IXS Enterprise was approximately the negative mass energy equivalence of Voyager 1, which is equivalent to around negative 63 exajoules of energy. Following in Dr. White's footsteps, NASA engineer David Burns proposed a new concept for an engine that could travel at the speed of light without the use of any propellant. This engine is based on the EM drive, a proposed propulsion system that generates thrust without the need for any external fuel source. Burns has come up with the helical engine, which is a combination of high-tech particle accelerators and takes advantage of the way mass changes while traveling at the speed of light. This engine, also known as the engine of light, has the potential to reach speeds of 297 million meters per second. This propulsion system works by accelerating ions that are locked in a loop. The velocity of the ions is then altered to change their momentum, which produces thrust when they are moved along the engine's axis. The helical engine is primarily designed to keep satellite stations in orbit, without the need for refueling over extended periods of time. In a paper posted on NASA's website, Burns explained his helical engine concept using a weight inside a box with springs on either end as a metaphor. The potential impact of this engine on space travel is huge and could significantly reduce travel time between planets and galaxies. Not only that, it could also make space travel more efficient by reducing the need for large amounts of fuel. In practice, the engine would have to be massive, measuring 200 meters long and 12 meters in diameter, and would require 165 megawatts of power to generate one newton of thrust. Unfortunately, it would only be able to reach meaningful speeds in the frictionless environment of space. However, not all researchers support this engine, and there are other propulsion systems, like the electromagnetic drive or the EM drive, that generate thrust by bouncing microwaves inside a closed chamber. 
shaped like a cone. The EM drive uses electromagnetic waves to generate momentum. As these waves bounce around inside the cone, they produce tiny forces that push the small end of the cone in the opposite direction. The EM drive works by converting electricity into microwaves, which are then blasted into the cone cavity. This creates electromagnetic propulsion, hence the name EM drive. In theory, this technology could allow spacecraft to reach incredible speeds without burning any fuel. It's like a modern-day perpetual motion machine, something scientists once thought was impossible. Let us pause for a moment and imagine that a spacecraft could travel at the speed of light. It's a tantalizing prospect, but there are several significant challenges that must be overcome. First, traveling at the speed of light would result in time dilation, meaning that time on board the spacecraft would appear to move more slowly than time on Earth. This could cause major problems for the crew, such as aging at a slower rate than the rest of the universe. Secondly, it would be impossible to detect obstacles in space, such as planets, stars, and celestial bodies, which could lead to catastrophic collisions. Additionally, the intense energy required to reach such speeds would likely cause severe damage to the surrounding space-time fabric, creating a disturbance felt throughout the universe. Lastly, the immense forces involved in traveling at such speeds could likely cause severe injury or death to the human body. Despite these challenges, the successful development of a vehicle that could travel at the speed of light would open up a vast array of possibilities for scientific exploration and discovery. Astronauts would be able to travel to distant galaxies, study the formation and evolution of stars and planets, research black holes up close, and investigate dark matter and dark energy, which make up most of the universe. Finally, scientists could explore the origins of the universe and study the Big Bang and the first moments of the universe, potentially providing us with answers to the very questions of our existence. If you think we'll be able to witness a spacecraft that could travel faster than light in our lifetime, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Until our next story, don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing stories.